Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Midnight Mod Garage. I uh, actually just got this carbon fiber style uh, <laughs> spoiler for the Golf R. So first let's open it up. Alright, they did an alright job. A couple spots where obviously the rubbing pulled it up. This. Like I said, it's carbon fiber style. I'm actually curious to see how it looks. It actually looks horrendous on the vehicle. And I'll probably just go ahead and get the carbon fiber one. Definitely seen worse. Um, you can actually see they even put some slight imperfections in the weave to kind of make it look like real carbon fiber. UV is not going to affect this like carbon fiber. That's that right. is one of the benefits. This will look like this in two, three years. And in Florida, we get a lot of sun. Michael, do you want to put it up next to a real uh, carbon part so we can see the difference and yeah. what it looks like after a little bit of sun? Yeah, let's look at the under. The under is protected. <laughs> this is what UV does. That's why we actually change these. You probably can't see how bad it is, but it literally looks... It comes out pretty good. It looks about as damaged as it really yeah. is. And this was the underside, but the UV doesn't hit it, so you don't get as much discoloring. Comparison between the two... In actual fact, just because it's so scratches and everything, I would say I like this better right now. Yeah. It also does have that darker look. Um, this carbon fiber has yellowing from the sun. That's the thing is that it was new, black originally. The new piece looks a little too perfect to be. <laughs> it's it's not uh, adorned with. There's no such thing as too perfect. <laughs> it's not adorned with imperfections the way real carbon parts inherently are. All right, let's pull the car in and see what it looks like on the car. It's so loud, especially inside. All right, so we're going to use some alcohol. Get that one properly laid. There is about a quarter of an inch of the trim showing here. I don't mind the black because it's not as noticeable, but in order to hide this, I happen to have some black car wrap that we've used previously on a couple other wrap projects that we've done. Um, it's Avery Denison 9000. Um, it's pretty high quality wrap, so I'm going to take some of the black. It's gloss black, so it should match the piano black on the side trim. And we're actually going to just do a little strip there so it doesn't flash as much when you put it on. Now I've cut a strip of the black wrap that we're going to be using. I cut it to more or less the rough shape. So what I'm going to do is, now that the spot is clean, going to peel this on. see that quarter inch of gray um, it flashes black now so it's not as noticeable
so we finished the install about 45 minutes ago. It's been setting. Um, the set time for this is 10 to 15 minutes. I said earlier that you have 10 minutes to work with it. It's actually one to five minutes of working time. This stuff sets very fast. Um, so now we're going to remove the tape that we use to hold it down and see how our adhesion works. Worst case scenario, it didn't stick that well and I'm going to have to... Hit it with a heat gun. Okay, so last night's project did not work out. Um, so what we decided to do was we let the adhesive harden overnight. So now it's, it's no longer tacky. It's actually really hard. And we decided to go with the clear JB Weld. This stuff sets in five minutes, fully cured in, what does it say, Mike, an hour? Fully cured in one hour. All right, so we're going to do this. We have two of them. In the event that we need to, I seriously doubt that's going to be an issue. It comes with this awesome little stir, uh, but luckily I have these even more awesome fork stirs to put on our super rad not carbon fiber wing. It's going to be so lightweight and create so much downforce. I'm seriously concerned for Mike's rear tires. They might just explode with all the downforce. All right, so this is how it goes. We're mixing it up. All right, <clears throat> you with me so far? God, this shit smells awesome. Orange plastic fork already. Okay, first shit. Setting? Yeah. Okay, go. So, this is what it looks like right now. Definitely want to make sure that we tape from the top, make sure there's plenty of adhesion. Pull down, and then to the car. You'll notice when I push down on it, there's no movement. On the middle, you do want to have some pressure in the middle to make sure the middle is adhered, but you don't want to pull straight back because you'll notice there is a lip, and the last thing you want it to do is flip up. And then same thing on this side, Jay. Time's okay. Beautiful. This is attempt number two. You can get an idea of what it will look like. All right, <clears throat> so here we are. We'll let it sit for an hour. This is what she looks like. Ready for this, Grumpy? Have some passive um, I'm kind of glad that I put that black there because it does help hide some of the flashing. Oh, Obviously yeah. the gray would stick out a lot more. I mean, and, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but the whole car is shaking when I do that. Um, well, you can't really see, but this had a little bit on it. It's, that rag is now a permanent piece yeah. of our trash Careful, can. Touchy. I couldn't throw it, I couldn't throw the fork thing away. It was stuck to my hand, stuck to my finger. Yep, that's why you're supposed to wear protective gloves. There you have it. Um, Jay's gonna be getting one similar for his IS-300. All right, guys, have a good night. Peace out from the Midnight Mod Garage. Get in the garage, get dirty, and stay tuned. You just wink at the camera. I was winking at you. You just don't wink at me. Get in the garage, get dirty, and stay tuned.